everybody, it's Alicia and it's four o'clock. So it's the 411 at four. And today we are with Tyler Stark from First State Bank. Tell us Hello, a little bit about the new bank. It's not a new bank, but it's new to Casper. Yes, well, as she said, my name is Tyler Stark, um, and I'm part of a team that is starting a brand new bank to Casper. It's First State Bank. Um, they are a division of the Glacier Bank system, and they have branches down in Wheatland, um, Guernsey, and Torrington right now. So we are starting from scratch, um, and a couple of my teammates are Kermit Willie and Brian Stack, so a few names that people might be familiar with in town. So Awesome. And we so we wanted you to you know, talk about that, but we're also talking a lot lately about SBA loans. So what type of loan are you doing at the bank? So primarily right now, um, obviously as a full service bank, we're doing any SBA loan that exists, but in, in the midst of the COVID-19 stuff, the um, SBA payroll protection program has been a hot topic lately and our, our desks are flooded with requests from those. Um, it's actually a great program working with the SBA. Um, so what they, what they're doing is they're trying to get people, um, to keep their employees on payroll. Um, they think that our small business owners in Casper will do a better job than, than the unemployment line will. Um, and as a small business person, I kind of completely agree with that. So, um, what they do is, and, um, I'll try to give is enough information without overwhelming anybody, but. Um, anybody who owns a small business and pays payroll is eligible for the program. The application is about two pages long. Um, it's just a lot of questions, mostly it's customer information profile, making sure you're a citizen, making sure that you actually do have payroll. Um, the amount of the loan, so there's kind of two specialties when it comes to the loan. It's how we calculate the loan amount and then how and what portions of the loan could be forgiven. And, and by forgiven, I mean 100% forgiven and free money. So it's definitely worth anybody looking into that might qualify. Um, the, the first of which is the loan amount is calculated at two and a half times uh, business's average monthly payroll. And how you get there, um, the uh, this best document you can use for us is a W-3. And that just is going to have your annual payroll amount. You divide that by 12 months and then two and a half times that number is what the loan amount is. And for a lot of people, it adds up pretty quick. So um, the, once, once we get that, there's certainly some miscellaneous bank documentation that we'll request. But as far as SBA programs go, um, it is the least amount of information I have seen ever being required. So it, I can really speak to that fact. Um, we've processed a number of them already. Um, the SBA is already approving them. Um, and once they're approved, the goal is to fund these within five days. So wow. it's, a, it's, it's an optimistic goal um, for any bank. Uh, but I can tell you we're having a lot of success and we're expecting our first loan documents to roll off the press as early as this evening um, and get signatures and get money in the hands of the people who need it. So so not that, that loan not only um, covers payroll, but there's other things it can be used for, right? Yep, that's exactly correct. So at the end of, so the loan is intended to cover two months of payroll for your employees so that you guys can get, as business owners and such, can get everybody through this crisis. Mm -hmm. um, so, so long as you're continuing to pay payroll, that loan, the, percent, the portion of that loan that can be forgiven, um, you can apply for in eight weeks. And what the, the portion that they'll forgive is payroll, um, rent, if you have a rent expense to stay in a building, uh, mortgage interest, so they'll 100% refund the mortgage interest, and then utilities. So really all of the big overhead pieces for most businesses um, is 100% forgiven, and that can be applied for after eight weeks. Um, rules do continue to roll out and change, obviously, in this kind of new environment. Um, so our advice to anybody is, you know, tr try to very much track these loans separately. Don't just throw it into a standard account per se. Make sure you're watching it closely so that at the end of eight weeks, if the rules change a little bit, you've, you can just pay the loan back with the money you got from the loan if you need to. But it's, it's, a, it's a great process and it seems to, be, seems to be something that's going to work. So Definitely. So who is eligible? Because it's not... Um you have to have a certain amount of employees and I mean, there's a few parameters. It, that's correct. That's correct. So it's our understanding. It's any small business. It doesn't really matter how you're incorporated that has less than 500 employees. Um, in addition to that, um, they are rolling out sole proprietorships and kind of independent contractors. That was, 
those were to be rolled out in phase two, and those types of businesses can start to apply as soon as Friday. Um, I don't have a lot of rules and information on what those look like at the moment as things continue to change. Um, but even the really small businesses where maybe you're only paying yourself, the intent is still to get money in the hands so that people can continue to pay the rent payments and the world can keep moving forward. Definitely. Where do they get the applications, Tyler? Uh, the applications can be getting from really any banker that a person has worked with in the past. Um, commercial banks are obviously front and foremost on this because that's the primary people that they serve. Um, you can also go to the SBA website. It's sba.gov. Um, and I'm guessing I haven't gone to the homepage because we have some links. But if you just look for the payroll protection program or you Google it, it, it will take you to the SBA site and the application can be downloaded there as well. So, And the best place to go to get this SBA loan is your is your current banker, correct? That's absolutely correct. I would definitely recommend um, going to, if you have an existing bank relationship, start with them. Um, banks are very overwhelmed with these loans right now. And so, as you can imagine, they're prioritizing their existing customers. Um, it, we are doing our best to try to prioritize everybody, um, obviously, but you'll, you'll get preference if you already have a banking relationship. So my advice is to, to start there. Um, and I'm happy to obviously entertain any requests or calls as well. So. And we'll put, we'll put all your information um, after this. I'll edit the post and we'll put all your info there. Um, so where are you located now? Would people come see you? Uh, we are working remotely. Um, we are okay. in the middle of the transitional phase before the branch opens. So the, the branch will be at 330 South Center. Um, it is under construction right now. So it's really exciting. There will be a big open house. Um, in the meantime, since I am working remotely, um, I'll just give out my email address. And that's Tyler.Stark at fsbwy.com um, fsb is in first state bank wyoming um, that is the best way to get a hold of me for right now and i've got form emails that send out the application and some additional memos and information to answer even more questions so do you think that the sba will run out of the funds or are it is there quite a bit um the initial thought that that was the case um i my understanding is that about 90 billion of 349 billion has been funded to date. Um, so I think we do anticipate that the funds will eventually run out, but they're not out yet. Um, the other thing is the president did come out over the weekend um, and some of the memos we've received saying that he intends to fund this with another $250 billion because of how successful it's been. So uh, the intent is that it will not run out, but, Time is of the essence, obviously. So my advice would be to get it done as fast as possible. Because it is kind of first come, first serve. Yep, that's absolutely correct. I like to end all of these by saying, uh, by asking you, what's your message of hope for um, the town of Casper and the surrounding areas? <laughs> that's a that's a great a great question and a great point. And I, I guess what I would say is. As a hometown um, kid in Casper and been in the community all my life, Casper has certainly seen a number of ups and downs and th this too shall pass. So it's, it's nothing that the Casper people won't be able to get through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just rally together. And I, I think all of you over there are um, really small business minded, don't you think? As far as the small businesses in our company or in our, in our town, that that's what you guys are around for is to help small businesses grow, correct? A hundred percent. Yes. That is always the primary goal is to keep, keep, get the small businesses and the small dreams on their feet so that people can do what it is they love and they're passionate about. So. And we know you've heard some harebrained ideas from me. So um, call Tyler <laughs> and um, he will help you out. We, um, my husband and I have um, done a lot with Tyler over the last, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, it's five to seven years by now already. I'm I sure, was going to so. say 10, but maybe you weren't out of college 10 years ago. It was uh, eight. It is eight years officially. It is eight. Okay. I'm just messing. <laughs> You're awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on here um, and talking about these SBA loans. I think it's really important. And I think that um, it's going to help a lot of small businesses out. And I've heard people talking about getting them and that they're so thankful a lot of small business owners want 
to keep their people on so that they can pay their rent and pay their um, house payments and, you know, and live. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And I'm happy to answer as many questions as anybody might have about it. So uh, don't, don't be afraid to send them. All right. Thank you so much. Yep. Thanks, Alicia. See you later. Bye.